seated right in the Hyannis Marina. It is the place for tropical fun on Cape Cod. Take in the great water views of Hyannis Harbor while you enjoy the freshest seafood that Cape has to offer, or just relax with one of their signature frozen libations and watch the boats. When nighttime rolls around, Trader Ed's really starts to heat up. Dance the night away to some of the best bands from Cape Cod and Boston against the backdrop of a moonlit ocean and a parade of boat lights fading into the darkness. Trader Ed's was created with the sole purpose of providing the finest in food and entertainment in a waterfront setting on Cape Cod's scenic Hyannis Harbor. Going worldwide, Dirty Water. And I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Hi guys, I'm Sabrina Ponte and welcome to Dirty Water TV. We are kicking off our 2017 legendary Jose Cuervo Summer Tour here at Trader Ed's, the place to start summer. And we're here with Mr. Trader Ed himself. How are you, John Shay? I'm doing well. I'm drinking a little Cuervo. I can see you. <laughs> there you go. This seems like the best place to kick off summer. Can you tell us a little about it? Uh, yeah, we're in our 20th year here at Trader Ed's at Hyannis Marina, and we have a nice fishing tournament going on today. So the event today is Operation Real Heroes. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, we have 50 fishing boats going out there, and they're, uh, they're fishing for the biggest striper and the biggest bass, and they get prizes, and all the money is for charity for uh, wounded warriors. Stay tuned. We will have more on that later. We have a big show for you tonight. Here's what's on tap. Julia Scaparotti introduces us to the rough and tumble world of roller derby. Zoe Bukovalas takes us to this year's hot stove cool music benefit, headlined by Eddie Vedder. We'll party in the park at Jamaica Pond with fashion guru Francesca Mills and Tanya Chen Meserich. We'll show you some of the best sunsets around. Zoe Bukovalas to tell us more about a new restaurant in the hall. And we'll sample some delicious Jose Cuervo summer cocktails. First, we're off to the Shriners Auditorium for the fast-paced action of women's roller derby, and that's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. The Boston Roller Derby has their team's playoffs here at Shriners Auditorium. It is going to be a fight for the finish for four teams. Let's go hit the track. Boston Roller Derby is the first skater-owned and operated flat track roller derby league that has been skating their hearts out since 2005 when a group of ambitious women began training at hockey rinks throughout Greater Boston. Over the past decade, Boston Roller Derby has grown into a league with three interleague teams, the Boston Massacre, the Boston Bee Party, and the Boston Common, along with four interleague teams, the Cosmonauties, the Horrors, the Nutcrackers, and the Wicked Pissas. Tonight's playoffs between the Cosmos, Horrors, Nuts, and Pissas compete to find out who will go on for a chance to win the Golden Fez Cup. The winners of tonight will battle at champs in late October. I'm with the Wicked Pisses. They just won. Woo! You guys are going to the finals. How do you feel? Amazing. We worked so hard for this and just hard work pays off. I'm really excited. We're 4-0 this year. Yeah. Um, so we're going in the champs undefeated. We have a lot of new rookies. It's been a, it's been a challenging year. Wow. So I have the rookies over here. Tell me, why did you join roller derby? Um, I think I saw it on TV somewhere and I thought that looks like a lot of fun. I want to get involved. And, yeah. Yeah. and I see a lot of fans come out here. How do they know about Boston Roller Derby? Friends, family, we actually go out and flyer and put posters. So we get out in the community, especially when there's like block party events and things just to get the word out and, and cross team uh, as well. So we invite other sports teams in to help, you know, collaborate with them too. What you are seeing today is the Cosmonauties take on the Arc of Horrors, which are two of the home teams. And this is the playoffs. So we're fighting for a spot in the championship bout, which is next month, uh, where the Cosmos are actually going to be fighting to maintain the Fez, which is the golden trophy. I love that Dirty Water TV. 
Come to the Shriners Auditorium in October to see who takes home the Golden Fez Cup. Reporting for Dirty Water TV, I'm Julia Scaparotti. That's tonight's big ticket, brought to you by Hicks Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Hi, I'm Higgs, so call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. Wow, Julia, that sport sounds really rough. Off to something a little safer, switching gears to our own Francesca Mills off in Jamaica Pond, kicking off the party in the park. Hey, I'm fashion stylist Francesca Mills, and I'm here today at Party in the Park with some of Boston's biggest philanthropists and park supporters. What a beautiful day we have for this event. It's time to go check out some of the awesome hats that I've seen so far and be a lady who lunches, so let's go do that. Boston's best dressed ladies who lunch were out in full force at this year's Party in the Park this late spring afternoon. Widely considered Boston's must-attend event, the party in the park happens under a grand tent on the banks of Jamaica Pond to raise funds for the Emerald Necklace Conservancy. This is one of the premier events where women come out dressed to the nines and get to wear these fabulous hats. So my favorite thing to do is getting dressed up, so this is like such a great day for me. But I just wanted to ask you about your hat in particular because it's so amazing. It has all of the things that I love. It has roses, it has feathers, it has this beautiful net in front. Who makes it? So this is Louise Green for Salma Gundy, and Salma Gundy is an amazing hatter located in JP. They actually did this custom to match my outfit from All Too Human, and they did an amazing job. They looked at the outfit and kind of told the milliner, Louise Green, what they were looking for, and she put everything together custom. So it really just matches the outfit perfectly because of that. Held each spring since 2005, the annual Party in the Park fundraiser attracts more than 750 fabulously fraught ladies and a few daring gents who mingle over bites and bubbly, flaunting their most elegant headgear at this stylish afternoon soiree. The men need to bring their A game to this thing because the women, you know, they blow it out of the water, so we need to like step it up. Yolanda, you are a fashion icon of Boston. Tell us what was your inspiration for your outfit. Well, I usually love white, and I, that's one of the reasons, but my daughter Sandra, who has her own television show, designed and made the hat and the dress, and she said, you can't go unless I design it. So tell me about your hat. It looks, it's, I, oh my gosh, LED lights. I didn't even see <laughs> so it's three Viva Delfina crowns. A butterfly is lit up with LEDs. They're all kind of wired together this morning. The Emerald Necklace Conservancy protects, restores, maintains, and promotes the 1,100 acres of meadows, woodlands, and paths of the Frederick Law Olmsted designed Emerald Necklace Park System that serves as a respite from the city for one million citizens and tourists each year. The Emerald Necklace Conservancy and the monies from this luncheon will go to help maintain the pathways, the buildings that you see along the necklace, as well as to maintain the trees that you see from Franklin Park all the way to the Boston Common. We want to tip our hats off to all the ladies who came out today, and especially to the Emerald Necklace Conservancy for all of the great work you're doing for the parks of Boston. We had so much fun being ladies who lunched and seeing all of the amazing hats, dresses, makeup. It was such a great fashion moment today. Reporting live for Dirty Water TV, I'm Francesca Mills. And I'm Tanya Mesrick. Coming up, Eddie Vedder steps up to the plate at this year's Hot Stove Cool Music Benefit. And later, we'll sample some refreshing Jose Cuervo cocktails. That's when Dirty Water TV's 2017 Jose Cuervo Summer Tour from Trader Ed's continues. It's Russo. I'm on the road with Tony Orlando and Bruce Springsteen. Did we dig the show tonight? Yeah, oh, yeah. fun. Hysterical. I, I, you, you heard it right there. <laughs> the champs right there. I'm Russo. I'm on the road.
Let's celebrate Dirty Water TV's 10th anniversary on Tuesday, June 20th at the House of Blues Boston with legendary American rock and rollers Huey Lewis and the News. Oh, Tickets at LiveNation.com for this epic event. Come party with Boston's longest-running nightlife and entertainment show, Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. Thank you, the Dirty Water TV Summer Tour is brought to you by Jose Cuervo. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Sabrina Ponte, and we are here kicking off our 2017 summer tour with Jose Cuervo. Up next, we have Zoe Bucavalas to tell us more about a new restaurant in the hall. Thanks, guys. We're here at Local 02045, the newest venture from the owners of the Range Bar and Grill in Hingham. Local 02045 is the latest addition to the southeastern Massachusetts nightlife and food scene. Did I mention it's on the water and it's absolutely beautiful. Come check it out. Located at 2A Street in Hull, right on Nantasket Beach. This landmark 100-year-old building that was formerly Arts Restaurant has been completely renovated and features two decks overlooking the ocean, cocktails, and a menu of seafood and Italian favorites. So what sets this venue apart from some of your other venues? Everyone has a phenomenal sunset. We literally have a 240 degree view, sunset, Boston skyline right there, um, but I think it's the town of Hull. We're here with General Manager Lisa Powers. Lisa, first of all, this sunset is incredible. Second to none, it's the only place you're going to see this on the South Shore. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. I am having the best time here at Local 02045, and I know this is very special to you because you're from Hull. Exactly. I've been a resident of Hull for 25 years now and I keep asking the locals if I'm considered a local yet and they tell me I've earned my stripes. Tell me a little bit about the menu here. The menu here at Local focuses mainly on seafood. Um, we have a lot of fried fish dishes. We also have fish tacos which have become the absolute local favorite. So now there's three floors here and I know each floor is something specific. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Our first floor is for the marina members. So everybody that has a slip out here can have a private room. We will also host events there for them. It's great. The second floor is a full service dining room. A little quieter atmosphere where you can bring your family. Also view the sunsets. There's a deck down there. And the third floor is our lounge, which is like our fun zone. We have a light affair menu. And on the weekends, we're either going to have DJs or a small band. This past weekend, we rocked it. We're wrapping things up here at Local 02045. We had a phenomenal time. I can't wait to be back here all summer long. I'm Zoe Bucavales reporting for Dirty Water TV. Back to you guys. Hey, this spot looks so cool. I can't wait to check it out. I'm here at the Jose Cuervo girls, Kate and Tori. So what do you got over here? We've got a Ho Jose Cuervo margarita. We're giving out some free samples for today so people can have them what they want and then some free shirts. Free shirts. Now, what do these shirts say? Can we see these? So these say Cuervo, no chasers, because Cuervo is so smooth you don't need one. If I'm going to mix with Jose Cuervo, what am I going to mix with? Other than a margarita, I'm going to go with a tequila sunrise, orange juice and grenadine. I really like that one, okay? Vote? I'd say you just need it straight up with some salt and a lime. So you are better than me. You go, girl. Welcome to summertime. Big night. Woo! Love it. Trader Reds. Up next, Eddie Vedder hits the hot stove cool music stage. That's when Dirty Water TV's 2017 Jose Cuervo Summer Tour from Trader Ed's continues. So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There's the answer code. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Celebrate Dirty Water TV's 10th anniversary on Tuesday, June 20th at the House of Blues Boston with legendary American rock and rollers Huey Lewis and the News. Get your tickets at LiveNation.com for this epic event. Come party with Boston's longest running nightlife and entertainment show, Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. Trader Reds, this is the greatest bar on Cape Cod, and we love that Dirty Water TV. 
Yes, the Trader Reds. Summer of 2017. Grandpa. The greatest bar. On Cape Cod. <laughs> Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Sabrina Ponte here at Trader Ed's kicking off the 2017 Dirty Water Summer Tour presented by Jose Cuervo. Here at Trader Ed's at Hyannis Marina, it is the place to be with this beautiful rainbow above us. But we're going to head over now to Paradise Rock Club. Zoe Bukovalis with more on the Hot Stove Cool Music Benefit. Tonight, Pearl Jam's Eddie Vedder joins the Hot Stove Cool Music lineup at the Paradise Rock Club for a celebrity-studded night of music, baseball, and giving back. Let's go jam. Pearl Jam frontman Eddie Vedder hit the stage with Boston and Chicago musicians at a special Red Sox-Cubs edition of Hot Stove Cool Music Benefit concert at Boston's Paradise Rock Club tonight. Vetter joined Baseball Hall of Fame writer Peter Gammon, Chicago Cubs president of baseball operations Theo Epstein, and current Red Sox and Cubs players in a special musical performance at the Boston version of the annual fundraising series, which benefits Boston and Chicago youth and families. Started, I like to say, in the afterglow of that first World Series championship in 2004. I think we were in spring training in Florida, kicking around ideas. We knew we wanted to do something charitable, something um, that gave back to the community, and we were trying to think of a name for our foundation. We got tired kicking around ideas. We were like, all right, whatever, we'll just name it later. Light bulb went off. There's the name, foundation to be named later. And here we are, 12 years later, we never thought we'd be having a weekend full of events that could raise between $750 and thousand dollars and a million dollars perhaps with a guy like Eddie Vedder I think we might be able to hit that plateau so it's amazing how it's grown over the last decade plus. The Hot Stove Cool Music Red Sox Cubs Edition concert will feature musical performance by three ensemble bands the Boston Hot Stove All-Stars, band of their own and the Chicago Hot Stove All-Stars. We've been really lucky to have a, a, a sort of a hardcore very loyal audience that sell out every time we play either in the winter or in the summer and they understand that, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of roadhouse rock and roll. Award-winning actor, writer, and comedian Mike O'Malley served as MC and led a special game show showdown between Boston Red Sox and Chicago Cubs players. Theo and Paul and Peter and the Red Sox and the Cubs, all the things they do, so much they do for the community, how they give back. I mean, it's just a, being a small part of it's pretty awesome. It's that synergy between music and baseball. That's the answer. I mean, every musician wants to be a ball player. Every ball player wants to be a musician. And we, we hit that magic formula where we can bring them together. <laughs> Red Sox and Cubs may be competitors on the field, but for the first time this weekend, they've come together to make a difference in the community. Reporting for Dirty Water TV, I'm Zoe Bukovalis. Thanks, Zoe. Now joined again by John and Arthur from Operation Real Heroes. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your, your charity? Sure. So this is our third year doing it. What we end up doing is we take uh, 45 boats out fishing in Cape Cod with uh, 90 veterans and guests. Uh, fishing on beautiful Cape Cod. We like to just try to give back to the people, so on and so forth. We get to hang out at this beautiful place at Trader Reds and uh, enjoy some time with some veterans and give back a little bit. It sounds awesome, and you're being a gracious host. I mean, Arthur just want to say thank you for all you do. Yeah. Thank you for all you do, Arthur. Thank you for helping us out, too. I love that dirty water TV. Oh, by the way, Arthur, what was the winning fish? The winning fish this year was a 36-inch striper caught by uh, the Goose Hummock boat, Yaski. And the biggest striper, which was... Uh, 29 pounds, he didn't measure it because you'll all know that he goes by pounds instead of length, was Yaski Phil, where are you? Up next, we'll wrap things up from Trader Ed's. That's when Dirty Water TV's 2017 Jose Cuervo Summer Tour returns. Oh, what's up, Amanda? Hey, Sam, how are you? I'm all right, but summertime's here. I'm stressing about money. Well, have you heard about findmassmoney.com? No. Massachusetts State Treasury has about $2 billion in unclaimed funds. About one in every 10 people has a chance of finding some of that money. So you're telling me if I go to www.findmassmoney.com, I could have some sort of hidden treasure? Exactly. You have a great chance. <laughs> This summer's gonna be good. Listen up, you could be one of more than 600,000 people with unclaimed funds. Go to findmassmoney.com or dial 188-344-MASS and find mass money today, bruh. 
Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Sabrina here again with John Shea. And now, who do we have here? Is this Higgs? We found you, finally. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here? Well, always down. Once we cross Memorial Day, it's all about Trader Reds and the uh, the time out by the pool and hanging by the uh, the marina. Awesome. So we're wrapping it up, but can you tell us a little bit about the events you have coming up this summer, what you're looking forward to? Yeah, we're looking forward to the 8th Annual Miss Cape and Islands Beauty Contest. We're giving away $10,000, ladies. All you got to do is walk around the pool three times. That's like $3,333.33 each time you walk around. Per lap. Wow. John, what big shows are coming up this summer? Well, besides the bikini contest, we have, uh, you know, Huey Lewis is uh, playing at the House of Blues. A lot of great concerts. Uh, Florida Georgia Line, uh, Billy Joel, James Taylor at Fenway Park. And the end of the year, we always, uh, Lady Gaga's coming, which hasn't played Fenway before. It's probably the biggest show of the summer. Wow, you guys have a big one. Sorry, I forgot you two, which happens in three weeks, and my phone is blowing up with requests, hey, yes. Hey, hey, can you save me two tickets for that dirty water party with Huey Lewis, please? <laughs> Only if I can be a judge in the bikini contest. Deal. <laughs> oh, jeez. And there it is. <laughs> I want to give a huge thank you to everyone at Jose Cuervo, John Higgs, and John Shea, and all of his beautiful girls here at Trader Ed's. Cheers. The weekend may be over, but the party never ends on Dirty Water TV. Well,